Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. So for today's video, I do have a poly gel kit from Bella Vina, aka Double Dip. This is the Blossom poly gel kit, the only poly gel kit I haven't tried from them yet. I have tried all of their other kits and I have those videos up on my channel. So if you do want to check those out, make sure you go and watch those after you are finished watching this one. But first, I just want to say I love the packaging so much. I love the way the box is magnetic. I also love all of the hollow. The packaging is just a 10 out of 10. I love it so much. Starting off here, I'm just going to be unboxing everything. You do get like the little card showing it actually has nail shapes and a nail roller on it, which I think is really nice. We also get six poly gels. I will be coming back to those. We get the little instruction manual, which does show step by step and includes pictures, which is very nice for beginners. Then we have a box inside of the box, which holds all of the goodies and the supplies to be able to do your nails. This is a all-in-one kit since it does include this mini UV LED nail lamp. This is very nice. I have so many of these. I'm normally not using the mini ones like this just because I prefer a larger nail lamp because I do longer nails. But if you are a beginner and want to purchase a all-in-one kit, I definitely recommend checking out these kits since you do get a lamp and you can do your nails as soon as this package is delivered. So you do get the mini lamp and you also get the cord. The next thing we get here are these like dual form clips. They are little clips that you clip on to the dual form. That way when you're curing, the dual form doesn't move around. You can also use these for other things. I've seen people use them for like the Femi Beauty method and just with poly gel and acrylic. So you can definitely use those for other things if you don't use dual forms. We also get a container of slip solution, which is very important. You will definitely need that. And then I like how it does include these little decorations. If you have watched the other poly gel kit unboxings on my channel, you probably have seen that all of these kits are the same and the same things are included in each kit, which I don't really like that, but it is okay because all of the stuff that is included, you will use continuously when you are doing your poly gel nails. We also get some top coat and base coat, my absolute favorite top coat. It is a very nice consistency and really leaves a glossy finish. And of course, the base coat, which is also a very nice consistency and formula. I love those. I also love the rose gold like tops on them. We get a pair of tweezers, also very nice quality. We get the poly gel brush and spatula. This is dual ended, so you get the brush on one end and the spatula on the other. Also a very good quality brush. Next, we have the 100-180 grit hand file. And lastly, we get the dual forms. If you know me, I do not prefer using dual forms. I just, that's what I used to start off with. And now that I've tried new methods, I just prefer doing doing the new methods. Here I did want to show the dual form with the clip so you could get the feel of what I'm talking about. And I also wanted to show the dual forms because just because I don't like dual forms doesn't mean if you're watching this video you may like the dual forms and that is totally okay. Now coming back to the poly gels, we do get six tubes of poly gel and this is what is different from every kit. They have different kits and all of the first items I showed you will be identical in each kit, but you can pick out which poly gels you want basically because they have like glitter ones and all of that stuff. But 
This one is the Blossom Poly Gel Kit, and these colors actually change colors and also glow in the dark. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch them here. That way I can show the color, the color change, and them glowing in the dark. I really like the bottles. I think it is a very nice, sleek look to it. I like the white bottle with the colored label of like the color of the poly gel and then also that rose gold cap. I just really like these bottles. All of the bottles are 15 ml so they are a smaller size and sadly Double Dip Bellavina does not sell these poly gels individually on their website. The only color you can purchase individually in a 60 or 50 ml is clear which I think that's nice but I'm hoping in the future that they do sell these individually just because I feel like it's always good for a brand to sell their like gel polishes, poly gels, anything like that that they sell in kits. I feel like they should also be sold individually. Say for example, I really love this pink color. I use it all and I want another pink but just the pink. I would have to buy the entire kit so I am hoping that in the future that is something they do start selling these individually maybe even in like 30 or 50 ml tubes. All of the colors in this kit I loved so much. They were screaming spring and summer. They were super bright, super fun, and these colors were a little translucent, like a jelly look to them. You will see later when I'm applying them to the nail how it did give off that translucent jelly look, but I did really like all of these colors. Here they are before they are cured and after they have cured. As you can see, they changed colors with the heat. And then here they are also glowing in the dark. So now let's go ahead and move right in to the nail set. I do have on some full cover nail tips. I'm using full cover ones today just because I wanted a coffin shape and I didn't actually have half cover coffin nails that didn't have a C curve. So I did just use full cover tips instead. I'm also putting on my UV glove. This was included in the May Double Dip Mystery Box box and let me tell you the struggle was real when I was trying to put this on with the long nails. It was hard but I do like I said in that video I do want to start trying to remember to wear this especially when I'm going under the UV lamp a lot and for this nail set obviously I was going to be going under the UV nail lamp a lot just because I am using gel products. So I did want to try to remember to put that on and I'm so proud of myself for remembering. But after I have that glove on, I'm now just going in with my base coat that came in the kit. I'm applying this to all of the nails and then I'm going to be curing for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp. I did want to mention real quick that since I am using full cover nails, I've never actually done super long nails like this using full cover nails and honestly I felt like it made it a lot easier to kind of build the apex and have a good structure for the nails. I'm thinking because that full cover nail tip already gives a structure, kind of gives off that apex already. So I feel like if you're having problems with building up an apex and a structure for your nails, maybe try using full cover nail tips for your poly gel overlay instead of using half cover nail tips. I don't know if I felt that way because I've been practicing this method a lot more or if it was because of the full cover nail tips, but I do like doing my manicures over full cover nail tips. I just feel maybe it's a personal preference, but definitely if you haven't tried it, I recommend trying it. I am going to be using the slip solution that was included in this kit. Normally, I use 91% isopur isopurpyl alcohol, but since this was included in the kit, I decided I would just use that slip solution. I'm also going to be using the poly gel brush. I kind of just dipped it in the slip solution to get it like broken in. And then I will be using five of the six colors. I did put them in order the way I wanted to use them. And I'm starting off with this like, I would say it's like a lime green color, kind of like a neon green, neon yellow shade. Really love this one. And 
I do need to say something here. This one was actually the easiest poly gel to work with throughout all of the other colors. I don't know why that was, but for some reason with these poly gels, I was having a hard time squeezing them out of the tube and also molding them on the nail. I have a feeling that it is because all of the pigments that they had to put in these poly gels because they do glow in the dark and they also change colors. So I feel like those pigments kind of messed with the formula a little bit. This is just what I'm thinking. I don't know for sure, but for some reason, these poly gels were a little bit hard to work with. I feel like very hard to work with, honestly, but I don't know. I'm not sure because I have tried Bella Vina poly gels in the past, like I mentioned before, and I love their poly gels. They are a very nice, stiffer poly gel, and the other ones that I have worked with in the past, they were not too stiff, but I feel like with this Blossom collection, the poly gels were a lot more stiffer and harder to work with. I feel like that is better than having like runny and sticky poly gels, but also there is a point where a poly gel can be too stiff and hard to squeeze out of the tube and also like just hard to move around and like mold the nail. But yeah, I, that is just my um, honest review on this kit. Um, the other poly gel kits I've tried from Bella Vina, I haven't really had this issue with. I know that it is a nice formula poly gel and a really good stiffer consistency, but for these ones, my honest review was they were just a little bit too stiff for me to work with. This lime green one here, I do have it in real time, I'm pretty sure, or maybe just sped up a little bit, but I wasn't really having problems with the lime green one. It was very easy to work with this one, but then when I moved on to the other colors, I was having trouble squeezing them out of the tube, and it was kind of just hard to mold on the nail. But it's okay, I was able to finish the nail set, I just kept going, and I also, after I was struggling a lot, I did actually run the poly gel tubes under warm water, and that did help a little bit, not too much, I mean, I feel like if I would have got a bowl of warm water and let them sit for a little bit, it probably would have helped, but honestly, I just wanted to dive right into the nail set and the idea I had in mind. I just wanted the nail set to be done so I could go in with what I wanted to do. So I just felt like I didn't want to put them in a bowl of water because I just wanted to move along with the nail set. But that is always a helpful tip if your poly gels are hard to squeeze out. It could be because they are cold. That happens a lot in the winter time. Also, if they are a really stiffer poly gel, it is always good to try running them under warm water or even soaking them in a bowl of warm water and that can help loosen them up and make them easier to squeeze out of the tube and easier to work with. As you can see here, I am doing the two bead method. This is probably my favorite way to apply poly gel. I normally like to apply a bead to the entire nail tip. I cure that for 60 seconds in my nail lamp and then I go in with a cuticle bead or an apex bead and apply that to just the cuticle and apex area and then I mold that out and then I cure and then I kind of look at the nail and see if I want to add more but normally I don't need to or I don't really want to because I don't want to have a bulky nail which will lead to a lot of filing in the end. So I did have that first nail. I'm pretty sure, like I said, it was in real time or sped up just a little bit. I really did, didn't want to speed up the poly gel application too much just because I normally don't do this method on my channel and I have been getting a lot of requests for me to try this method and kind of just practice with this method more. So I did kind of want to keep it like real time or just sped up a little bit. Don't worry, once I get to the other nails, I will speed it up more just because I do know the process gets boring. But 
watching it back, I honestly like it and watching it, I can see like the struggle that I had. I'm not sure if you guys are able to tell, but you can kind of see that I'm having troubles molding the poly gel and putting the poly gel where I want it. And I just, I have that feeling that the only reason for that was because since they probably needed to add in extra powders in these poly gels because of the glow in the dark and color changing, I think that kind of just messed with the formula a little bit and made the poly gels a lot stiffer than their other poly gels, but it's totally okay because in the end, I loved the nail set and I thought the colors were very nice. I'm normally not a jelly translucent type of girl like to do those colors but recently I've kind of been loving it more and I even did a video DIY jelly polish just because I think I'm kind of starting to love the jelly translucent look. I don't know why but I remember I used to hate it and not want to do it at all just because I didn't like that you could see the natural nail underneath but now I think I'm starting to love it a lot more. And if you are a jelly or translucent girl and like doing your nails with that look, I definitely recommend trying this poly gel kit because these colors were giving off that jelly and translucent look. It is also a bonus that they glowed in the dark and also um, changed colors. I think that's always fun to have. But I have been talking throughout the whole video, so I do want to say just a couple little helpful tips and tricks that I have, and then I will let the rest of the poly gel application play out. But one tip that I have is really try doing the two bead method. I see a lot of people doing the two bead method, and I feel like it has helped me out a lot with trying to build a structure, getting that apex, and not having an overly bulky nail. If you have not tried the two bead method, I definitely recommend it. Place your first bead along the entire nail and just use your brush, dipping it in that slip solution to mold the poly gel. I like starting at the cuticle area to get that poly gel around the cuticle without touching my skin and then I will just work down the nail. Then once I have that all smoothed out and I like the shape, I will then cure for 60 seconds and then go in with my second bead of poly gel and that will remain at the cuticle like apex area and I will blend that to the cuticle keep my apex where I want it and then blend down the rest of the product and then I will cure that for a, another 60 seconds in the nail lamp and then move on to the next nail. It is easy as that. The next thing that I do want to mention is keep your sides in. It is very, very helpful to do this if you are focusing on keeping your nail shape as the nail shape you're going for. That will really help you in the long run, especially when it comes to filing. Because I'm doing coffin nails, I want to make sure I'm keeping that poly gel in on the sides and keeping it that coffin shape. That way when I go to file, I don't need to worry too much about like filing a bunch to get that shape back, I kind of am already molding the poly gel to make it that shape. So that is a very helpful tip that has helped me out a lot. But that is pretty much all I want to say. I do also want to say real quick that I will have this poly gel kit linked in the description box. I will also have my favorite one linked in the description box. also have a limited time offer for you guys. You can use Brandy 40 on any one of these poly gel kits and get 40% off making the poly gel kits only $35.88. You can choose any of the poly gel kits you want to get the 40% off. It does not have to be the Blossom Poly Gel Kit. I definitely recommend picking up some of your favorite poly gel kits or even all of them because this is a limited time offer and normally it is not that 40% off. So don't forget to use code BRANDY40 to save 40% off of these poly gel kits and I will have them linked below. 
So here are the nails once I am finished with all of them. I did do my thumb off camera and I did it with the orange peach color. Now I'm just going to go in with my hand file that came in the kit, using that to crisp up the shape of the nail. Also file a little bit on the nail. And then I'm also going to be taking my professional Bellavina e-file, which I have mentioned about this before, my absolute favorite e-file. If you are looking for a new e-file, you can use my code BRANDY50 to get 50% off the e-file and I will also have that link down below. You can also see my pinky popped off. It popped off because I actually used a peel off base coat. That way I can pop the nails off, but it kind of gets annoying when I'm filing and my nails are popping off. You probably know the struggle if you use a peel off base coat and when you're filing, your nail just loves to pop off because that's just the way it goes. But honestly, I love using the peel off base coat because it will then allow me, once I actually want to pop them off, I can just pop them off. So yeah, I'm not dissing the peel off base coat, but it is very annoying when the nails pop off. But I also want to say that if you're looking at my apex and structure of the nail, please don't like come for me in the comments. I am not a professional. I am still practicing and practice makes perfect. So I am trying to get better at this method. This is not my favorite way to apply poly gel, but of course I do want to practice this way and get better at it. So I will be continuing to practice and as practice makes perfect, I will get better at forming the structure in the apex area. I just wanted to mention that because I know some people are probably looking at the structure of the nail. I did do most of my filing off camera just because it is a tedious process. Also, I feel like I always need to be super close to my face when I'm filing, so that means I'm normally out of frame. But anyways, after filing, I took my dust brush to wipe away all the dust and I actually did use a lint-free wipe and some isopurple alcohol to further remove the dust. And then I'm just taking that Bella Vina top coat and applying it to all of the nails. Once that is applied to all of the nails, I will be curing for 30 to 60 seconds in my nail lamp. And don't forget, these nails do change colors. So if you're wondering like why they go from a darker version to a lighter version, that is the reason. Honestly, when I was doing the nail set, I was kind of forgetting that they did change colors and I was like, what is happening? But then I would remember that they are color changing. So now we are going to be trying something that I have seen all over TikTok, all over my Instagram, and I just had to go for it. And it is blob nails. Like, I'm kind of obsessed with this look. It's so different and it's so fun. And... I'm normally pretty basic on my channel, I feel, and I kind of just wanted to go for this and try it. So that is what I'm doing. I didn't really know what to use for the blobs. I've seen people use different things, but I have this Bellavina Liquid Builder Gel. It is a very thick consistency and I thought it would work and it actually worked perfectly. Like, it was amazing. I placed the blob where I wanted it and then I did do a flash cure and then I placed my other blobs and did a full cure then but this was so much fun. I love trying things like this just because they're weird and crazy but it's like so much fun to do. You can kind of just go crazy. You can add like lumpier blobs or like have it be more thinned out and just kind of give that shape. I went in with like circles, lines. I kind of just went crazy and I didn't know if I was going to like this or not, but I kind of just kept going, trust the process, and in the end it was weird, but I liked it. So I definitely recommend trying this just because it's very popular and trendy right now. Um, I've seen other brands actually coming out with like little gels where you can make the blobs or like kind of draw with them but then have it be like 3D and this is like a 3D type nail and I just had so much fun with it. I really liked it and it is definitely different for me. I don't know if I would actually wear these nails out if you know what I mean, but for filming purposes and just having fun, I honestly really liked it. 
and it was kind of out of my comfort zone and it was weird and goofy, but I really liked the result and what I did next after I applied the blobs, which you'll see in a minute here. But I did apply all of my blobs. I did do those flash cures so the blob went like rest and thin out and then I also did do a full cure of 60 seconds to make sure all of the blobs were completely cured and then I was thinking like what else should I do to kind of make these more fun so I did decide that I wanted to try out some of the chrome powder and let me tell you I love the way this looked but it was very tedious and hard to do just because the blobs made the nail 3D. So it was kind of hard to get in those crevices, but I'm so glad I did this. It made it look so much more fun, weird, and cute. So I'm just taking this chrome powder and brushing it over all of the nails and rubbing it in. And yeah, that is that. And then I'm just going to apply a top coat that I don't really care about. That was also very tedious and hard to do, but I don't even care because I love the way these turned out. So I'm just going to apply the chrome powder and then a top coat. The reason I said a top coat I don't care about is because when you are using chrome powder, even if you brush away the chrome powder you'll still have like those like little glitter fragments get into your top coat so just make sure you are using a top coat that like you kind of have labeled for chrome powders or when you're doing like glitter or something like that that way you don't ruin your favorite top coat because that would be super annoying if you accidentally use your favorite top coat and then you go to top your nail set off and it has like glitter all through it and you didn't even want glitter in it so that is one reason why i do that but i'm just gonna go ahead and let this play out if you are still watching and enjoying the video and haven't subscribed yet please make sure you hit that subscribe button i have seen that a lot of my viewers aren't actually subscribed to me so if that is you make sure you subscribe because it really helps me out a lot and i just love watching my subscribers grow and everyone joining my family and i just love that so if you aren't subscribed make sure you're subscribed and also if you are also enjoying leave a comment if you're feeling generous and don't forget to give a big thumbs up because that really helps me out a lot
After my top coat was applied to all of the nails, I did cure for 60 seconds in my nail lamp, and then this was kind of going to be the make or break moment. I needed to wipe away all that extra chrome powder, but I was a little bit worried that I didn't cover the full nail in top coat, so I was like wiping and then looking to make sure I wasn't wiping away all of the chrome powder. I did wipe away some chrome powder around the cuticle area, so if you do try this, when you're applying your top coat, make sure you really like be considerate and look around the entire nail and do make sure you have it completely covered in top coat. That way you don't wipe away any of the chrome powder. But after I did that, I was finished with the nail set, so I am using my double dip cuticle oil, applying that to my cuticles to nourish them. I really like this cuticle oil. It is very nourishing and it smells really good, so I definitely recommend trying it out. But here is how the finished nails look. I absolutely love the way these turned out, even though they are crazy and weird and definitely something different for me. I feel like they are super cool and and I love them a lot. I love the chrome effect. I feel like if I would have left the chrome off, I would have loved the nails the same amount, but I am really glad that I applied the chrome. Let me know in the comments below if you like these nails or if you have been wanting to try the 3D blob nails. I am so glad that I did. I've been seeing this a lot and I really like how these turned out. I don't know if I would wear them out, like I said, but I had so much fun creating these and I just love the weird, crazy, and cute look to them. I will have all the products I used linked in the description box below, but as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.